Today I'm going to go over my pipe collection and pipe smoking in general. I have this here, which is a pipe smoke holder. I got it at a Goodwill store. And when you first start smoking pipes, what I would strongly suggest is you get a corn cob pipe like this. As you can see, this is well worn. The best thing I like about these, they're very inexpensive. And you don't have to really worry about them as far as investing a lot of money and I will tell you right now, in my opinion, they don't smoke any better than something that looks a lot prettier. These are perfectly fine. So something else too, these will eventually burn out on you, but you're not losing a lot of money. Like when you first start smoking these pipes, there's a tendency a lot of the time to overheat the bowl. So if you overheat this, you'll burn your tongue. Okay. But sometimes new guys don't realize this when they're smoking them they get this way way too hot in here and they end up getting a nice pipe for example this one and they'll burn a hole somewhere in here where there's a weakness because they got it too hot and then they're out who knows how much money because pipes are 20 30 dollars all the way up to hundreds thousands of dollars depending on what you have and you don't want to burn a hole in a nice pipe so something to look out for that's why i say this is perfectly fine for somebody who is interested in starting up okay so when you first light this the easiest thing to do is pack it there are many many ways to pack this what i like to do is just take it push it in here there are certain methods to make it more like for example here loose here medium then pack it full i've seen pack it full loose or uh, medium and then loose up here i just find it for me it works best for me is just put it in here let it be springy to the top and when i light it you light the first and what i like to do my favorite method of lighting a pipe is using these little matches you can get in cigar shops okay i use two matches when i light this it's a lot easier than one match because it'll go out on you i guarantee it if you have two matches it's very rare that it'll go out on you okay and you're gonna need a lot of these because these go out easy as far as as a matter of fact when you first light it you want it to be inside of here you want it to go out and then tamp it down inside of here. You can use a nail, you can use a tamping tool, you tamp it down in here, and then you relight it again, and then you'll have a cherry. It'll look like a cherry like it is on a cigar. That's how you would light pipes. So there are two different kinds, in my opinion, the way that a pipe will come. You see how this is straight and how this is curved like this? In my opinion, if it's bent like this, it's easier for you to keep it in your mouth. And that's what she said, okay? It's easier for you to keep it like that, okay? If it's straight, this is my opinion, it's a lot harder to keep it. But there is a difference, okay? Let's say you're chatting with somebody, you're talking to somebody, or you're reading, and you like to smoke the pipe like this, and you take it out of your mouth, and you're doing stuff or whatever, then this is perfect. This is perfectly fine. Because you're not, not worried about keeping it in here. A person that holds it like this, it just depends on what you want to do. It depends on your personal preference, okay? This is the first one, or no, maybe second or third one that I ever bought. First one, I burned a hole in the side of it when I first started because I didn't know no better. I mean, if you don't know no better, you don't know no better. Okay, so here's this as well. So this is lighter and then it has that bend. So you can just kind of hold it here this is heavy uh, heavier than this okay that's another thing you got to pay attention to and that's something else as well these are so cheap you can see which one you like if you like one that's bent like that then if you get a nicer one later then get one that's bent like this and get one that's light if you get one that's heavy like this and you prefer this one you're not going to smoke the one that looks like this you're just not going to do it you just wasted your money so that's something to keep in mind okay and the easiest way to clean this this is how i clean mine okay you wait till this is entirely cooled off some of these come with filters in here some of them don't i don't know if they do anything i don't use them i don't like using them so i take them out okay you take this here these little cleaning things here take it run your finger down like this get all the stuff off and then clean it inside here clean it inside here and that's it now what I like to do is just let it sit in here, in, in my little holder here, okay? And you let it sit in there, and the next time I use it, I know before I use this, I need to clean it. 
That way, I never have to worry about warping it or damaging it. A lot of the damage that comes from these is it's still hot and you pull this out and then it cools off and then you try to put this and it's warped and it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't fit correctly, doesn't seal right, you have all kinds of problems. So that's my way of getting rid of it. Okay, so these are two beginners. I think there was at Mer Mersham, Mersham Company, 1883. These are made of corn cotton, okay? Let's see here. These are tobacco. You don't have to buy a big giant thing. You can buy it by ounce. This is Fink's here in San Antonio. You can get Fink's cigars and they have all kinds of different ones. Any of your local cigar shop will have this. And then you ask what kind you want to start with. They have regular flavored. And you can go like Cavendash, you can go Hita. They have different kinds of blends and then you'll find what you like. You just have to smoke it. And what the best thing about this is, this is very inexpensive, it's very cheap. I mean, this lasts a long time, many, many bowls. I mean, and it's only one house. So it's very inexpensive. So that's one benefit to this. As you can see, these are two different kinds of tobacco. This is here, and then this is a lot more you know than this and I prefer a Casanova over this one it's just my personal preference okay so as I mentioned before you got these little matches that you can get a cigar shop okay so let's get to I would say the elephant in the room okay I have pipes like this okay in my opinion they don't smoke any better than these they just don't that's my opinion they're a lot prettier they look a lot cooler and they're a lot easier to hold in your hand. I love this pipe. I used it for a long time and I, I love it. This this pipe is perfect for someone that likes to hold like this. That's what drew me to this pipe to begin with is I like holding my pipe like this. I don't always like holding it like this in my mouth talking and doing stuff. I, I don't prefer that. So this is actually very, very beneficial for me to just hold it like this. And then I have a little bend here, just like I prefer in this. And that's why I purchased this here. I got this at Fink Cigars. And let's see here, it's Nord. Yeah, Nord, made in Denmark. So I've smoked many bowls of these. And here's another thing you too, you need to pay attention to. The depth here, there you can fit a lot of tobacco in here. And it will last a long time compared to something like this, where the bowl is not very large. You have just a little bit here and there's not a lot of room. So if you're looking for like short period of time, this is perfect. You look for longer smoke, maybe you're barbecuing or something. Perfect for this. Okay. All right. I got this as a birthday present for one of my friends. I love this pipe. It's Savinelli made in Italy, Tiger or Tigre. I don't know. That's how you'd say it's Spanish, but okay. So it has this here. As you see, it has a bend. It's very small. It's kind of like this. As you can see, it's small but in here the bowl is larger and here you can it's real easy to just keep in your mouth like this and i like and this is very easy to hold on to as well so it has my personal preference as well so like i said you can get a corn cob pipe be just happy with it but if you like the style you like how it looks i got this as a birthday present and i really really over the moon i really enjoy this pipe as you can see, it still has ashes in it. This is my opinion on pipes. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll help what I can. Please subscribe to my channel and y'all have a nice day.